It is I, Mendes Snow Decker, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I decided I was going to do a reaction on how I feel about the new Minecraft movie trailer. Or teaser, as it says here in the corner. I'm watching this on YouTube, and it, this one was posted by Warner Brothers. Just throwing that out there now so everybody knows where I found this. Okay, then. We done? <laughs> okay, good. Uh, uh, f first off, turn that off. Turn off the captions. Second of all, let's just go right back through it piece by piece, and let me tell you why I hate this so much. Entrance was nice. Alright, that was good. Go to this section. This felt like a pretty nice view to look at. I mean, yes, this is this is nice to see. Uh, clouds a little bit throwing me off there because it's a mixture of cube and cloud. I've never really seen that done with Minecraft before, so that looks just a little bit strange to me. Uh, this whole section right here. This is what I don't like. Minecraft's original story... As it is described, is through Alex and Steve. Mostly Steve, but Alex comes into the picture a little bit later. Because Steve was first. That's how it, it's told, right? Steve was the last supposed living being of an ancient race of master builders who were basically stuck in this infinite loop of pain and suffering of their own decisions... Because they created something that they should not have made in this overworld. Which was basically killed by something else. Which was not official until Mojang decided they were going to screw with the lore a little bit. With the Warden. Absolute mistake making that thing in here. Sorry, but it's true. Originally it was the Wither, and then it was the Warden. The Warden killed the Wither, supposedly. Supposedly. And then they all decided that they wanted to flee the overworld and go to the end. And then they got stuck in the end and there were just a few people left here. And well, that's where Steve comes in. He was here to end the pain, the suffering, the misery, the bad decisions. But nope. We just throw in four random people who clearly do not belong in the story. Who we do not know and we should probably care even less about. No offense. Not saying, not saying the people as actors, just the people as characters. Characters in the movie. There's a big difference between the two. So, seeing the four people here, this threw me off entirely. I did not like this whatsoever. And then there's... No. That right there. The, the expressions. It felt like really bad acting to me. It just, it, it looks weird. It looks off. 
I mean, when I when I heard about this, I was expecting like a Minecraft animated, like Mario or the Lego movie, where they tried to do a whole lot of animation with it. But nope, we're like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do another live action because that's totally can't go wrong, right? And this is an absolute abomination. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I mean, I've always hated pink sheeps, but this... This takes it to a whole new level of disgust. This, I wouldn't even hesitate to shoot in the game. Like, oh, pink sheep. Hey, it's the fugly kind. Now let me just go ahead and pull out a crossbow. Actually, I, I might savor this a little bit longer. Just pull out a sword. Heh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what this cube is, but that reminds me a little bit of the Tesseract from Marvel. And what is with the tree design here in the background? That looks odd. I've never seen a tree, never seen a tree with branches like that before. What kind, of, what kind of tree is that? And let me go to this section right here. The ghast I actually do like, what I don't like is pretty much everything else. It feels like I'm looking at Minecraft Legends, which is funny because that's on my to-do list and I'm going to try to play that sometime in November, I hope. But this isn't Minecraft Legends, it's not Minecraft Dungeons, it's Minecraft. The singular, the original. This reminds me of Legends, and this just feels off. This scene was definitely nice. If they did that in the movie, I, I definitely would have enjoyed watching that one. Uh, this one I did not like. Why is there a battery right here? What, did they just bring that from their world when they jumped into this one? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That they're from the real world and we jumped into the Minecraft world? Uh, no. How about we stick to the Minecraft's original story and just keep Steve and Alex as the two main characters for now? But you guys didn't do that, so I don't like this at all. Also, I like how there's a diamond sword right here and there's a trident right there. I don't know why you need that much TNT, but okay. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna allow that, I guess. I like the picture reference here in the background. I also like the Eye of Ender chest. That is nice to see. This, however, is an abomination. Also, why do you have so many fireworks? Holy crap, that's a lot of fireworks. Also, I'm guessing that this is probably Steve right here. Maybe. I'm guessing. After they met him, I don't know. Are those winged shoes right there? Are those winged shoes? I'm just trying to understand why you have winged shoes in here. I'm trying to piece this together and I don't like where it's heading. Oh, the little friends are just some fraps. Yeah, that looks weird. Here, let's all just stare at the floating tree. Absolutely. Like we all did in the early days. It's not like it looks bizarre or anything. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> let's just go with that. Yeah, let's just go with that. Yeah, because that makes total scene. And I'm just going to totally pick it up and thinking nothing's bad's going to happen here. Oh, absolutely. Sorry, I'm making fun of it now. It's a habit. Steve's Lava Chicken. Should I? Should I understand this reference? I don't think I do. The Exploding Pig. What is that like? Is that like a cavern? A tavern? A pub? I don't know. And again, this is reminding me of Minecraft Legends, not Minecraft itself. Why are they so stinkingly short? The average height for Minecraft as the related canon goes is roughly 6 foot 6. So the fact that you made all of them so stinkingly small, I I don't I don't like this at all. Also, I don't remember the creeper being that fuzzy. There should at least be like an eyeball here, like a red eye or something. Just to make it, you know, slightly scarier, so to speak. 
I mean, that is what people did over time. They gave the creepers red eyes. I mean, th this look is still fine. This is a signature look. I'm just saying. I, I personally like the version that had, like, the red eyes and sharp teeth coming around right before it blew up. Again, Minecraft Legends. This reminds me of Minecraft Legends. I don't feel like I'm looking at Minecraft here. And there's something else in this shot as well. Why are there purple eyes right there? Is that an Enderman? I, I don't think that's an Enderman. It looks like it's holding a staff. So I'm just trying to understand what it is you're all going for as a look here. Or vibe. And again, why are they all so small? They all look really small in this shot. It could just be perspective. It could be perception. But I don't think it is. I literally think they're smaller than the average person. And that throws me off. I don't like any of this. Again, the expressions. It all looks really dumbstruck. That's the nicest word I can pick here. See, the expressions. It just... It feels weird. When I look at this. Personally, I think Jack Black would have probably made a pretty good Steve. I don't like how they went about it here, though. I don't like the live-action feel. Steve was based as a relatively skinny or average build to a really muscular guy, so to speak. Somewhere in that range. I'm not shaming Jack Black, alright? Jack Black is amazing. He is funny. I love his acting. Almost every movie he's been in, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed. He's a very talented actor. I, I enjoy watching Jack Black. I really do. I, I like watching him on the big screen. He's really funny. I don't know why they put these four in here, though. I really don't. It just it feels wrong. It feels off. I've already said it multiple times now. Alex and Steve. Alex and Steve. Why are you four here? Who are you supposed to be? Are you Jesse? No. How about you? No, you're not a Jesse. No way, you're a Jesse. You can't, you can't be a Jesse. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think any of them are named Jesse. And none of them are Alex, so... All this feels off to me. And again, insulting him, th this guy's such a tool, I didn't like that line at all. It's probably gonna be like a sarcastic group at this point. When I say that, I mean it's gonna probably be like one of the groups in a lot of the movies you've seen around lately where they walk into some place that they know nothing about and they just insult people who are strange just for living there longer when they clearly know more than they do. Steve knows more than you do, young one. You are the apprentice here, not the other way around. This part I did like. All right, that was definitely a nice shot. Respect to the creeper right there, the A, all of it. Another shot that definitely felt weird. It's it's the whole size comparison. Why is everything so small? Look at the barrels compared to the window. It, it feels a little bit off to me. I mean, I granted they don't have to get it 100% accurate matching the game, but I want it pretty darn close. The grass is fine that, that I'm willing to tolerate. There was like the realistic Minecraft way back when, I don't know if you remember, where they had like a realistic hand on the screen crafting and everything, and then everything else was pixelated in the background. Is there a good size comparison I can use here? So let's just go ahead and say for laughs and giggles that the llama is already six foot six in the height department. That would put this shot right here relatively accurate in size. But somehow I don't get that feeling that the llama is actually 6'6 six six here. Because again, perception. I'm pretty sure that if I put the llama all the way back here, it's going to be about this, this tall. Just a little bit bigger than the barrels. 
And if this top window here is going to be six foot six, I'm just speculating here based on how they did everything else so far, then that makes a llama shorter, which makes the piglins a little bit shorter, which makes it less accurate. Personally, I am not going to watch this movie at all. This looks like a crap box design. It looks like a mistake that was made. I do not want to see this. I don't want to see this at all. I don't know who wrote this story or came up with this type of concept design. But I think I speak for every single Minecraft OG when I say that this is an absolute abomination and it should be purged. I mean, look, Minecraft has had a great run over the years. It has. It's still one of the greatest games ever made. It's a land of infinite imagination, as they mentioned in the trailer. You can do anything here. You can be anything. You could make almost anything if you set your mind to it. I mean, I may not be the most famous Minecrafter, but I've definitely had my fair share of experiences in the run. And I've been with it ever since the second year it's been up. So that already makes me an OG because people in the first two years are labeled as OGs to the actual gaming area. Originally it was going to be one year, but they, they skipped that because there were some people who just didn't really have the time to get to it when they wanted to. Because, you know, life, work, jobs, all this other crap that it goes on. It just, it gets in your way sometimes. But I truly believe that this was a mistake. They just opened Pandora's box when they made this, and I don't want to see where it goes. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. Now, I'm not saying that it can't still turn out well, but truth be told, this has way less potential than if they tried making it animated. The whole live action vibe here just ruins it. It ruins the experience. I mean, to be honest, I was with everybody else on the conversation here. I was expecting them to have like cube like features, relatively squared off bodies, a little bit less realistic on the background look, but still with a pretty similar feel to how this looks. No. Bit further. No. Thank you. I mean, this is actually a pretty good shot. Don't get me wrong. This is a really good shot when you look at this. Not the four obvious humans down there who are clearly not from this dimension. Probably from a different world. But I do like this shot. This was a pretty good shot. It's just, once you throw things like this in there. I don't like how this feels. The whole non-pixelated human thing just doesn't work for me here. Now, somebody could walk in here and say, okay, well, their expressions match their environment. They're entering a new world. They're not used to seeing these things. Okay. That's not what we wanted, though, is it? That's not what we were expecting as the actual original fan base, is it? No, we were expecting Alex and Steve, most likely, because that would have made sense story-wise. Those were the first two that were shown on screen to us. That would have made sense story-wise. It would have been Alex and Steve bringing peace to the land and freeing them all from the Ender Dragon. That's how the original story went. But they're like, nope, let's just throw in four random people who 
clearly don't have any real ties to the original story. And then we're just going to make it a live action and we're going to make the end hyper realistic and we're just going to call it that. Oh, and we'll throw in a little cube from another dimension most likely because that's how they're going to get here. And then they'll meet Steve and, and they'll work together and oh, what whatever. I mean, they've had hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars making this and this is what they came up with. They came up with basically garbage. No offense, but that is what I see here. If it was me shooting this, I would have changed the music just a little bit slightly. Kept this intro right here. And this shot. That's a really good shot. Changed the buildings just a little bit to match the original Minecraft feel or the recent upgraded version. So get rid of this. Keep the windmill. Get rid of that tower there. Keep this building, the church. Keep these acacia roofed buildings. That one okay, that one's okay, that's nice. Get rid of that one, this one. Maybe put in another building somewhere right in here, this section. Just change this up just slightly, but keep the majority of it. And then still keep this grand view. Get rid of that building unless that's where Steve lives. That I could actually understand. And then for this shot, I would have shown Steve walking through here. Maybe with his dog. Because that would have made sense. Not this crap. And then have it zoned out again. I don't know about this part. The whole blue portal behind it. I don't like that. Maybe make the, por the portal purple. And then show Steve walking out and be like, man, what a day. None of this. Get rid of that. That was clearly a mistake. Instead of this shot, I would have probably shown the nether and a gas about to do an attack while Steve's about to fight it off. Keep that one. Keep that one. I would have probably shown Alex crafting here. And then Steve standing here and get rid of this and that. And this ugly contraption. And then while I was at it, I would, I would probably tease the fan base a bit and just throw in like a Harrow, Harrowbrine in the background somewhere. See, this background looks nice. Let's just go ahead and assume this is where Steve lives right here. Let's just go ahead and assume that. All of this would have made sense Minecraft-wise. All of this in the background. You got farmlands here, there, there. That looks like carrots or pumpkins there and there. You got some more farms over here. That looks like pigs right there and right there. You got plenty of small homes and housing, plus the Dulex version from the early days. Walking pathways. This actually does work for me. All right, this shot does. Once you get rid of these three walking through the underpass of the building. This one I would have used as a teaser for Herobrine. That would have been funny. <laughs> like Steve walking up and realizing he's not alone. Somebody was here before. That or it could have been a teaser for Alex was here. And we just didn't know she was here yet. I would have had Steve picking that up. This I would have gotten rid of, and I would have thrown in maybe a nighttime sch sch scheme to the whole area. So the background, the whole theme would be night, and instead of piglins, which made no flicking sense here, I would have probably used zombies and skeletons, and maybe a spider crawling around on the roof. Keep that shot, get rid of him, put in Steve. That would have definitely worked for me. This shot I actually would have kept. But I would have changed the background just a little bit. Changed up how the piglins look. It just feels a little bit off. If you made this Minecraft designed, I would have kept that. Get rid of this. This whole conversation. Throw it all in the trash. 
Maybe keep this one for like when he's introducing himself to Alex officially. I don't know. I'm just saying. And then I would have tried to keep this one. Throw this away though. Throw this whole spot away. It just... It doesn't work for me. I think that's pretty much all I have to say on this matter. I mean, this was just one of the biggest mistakes I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I honestly thought Mask 2 was bad or... You know, some of those other game remakes in the movies were, were bad. But this was the worst one yet. FNAF, they did okay. Five Nights at Freddy's, they did a pretty good job at. Yeah, sure, they got a few lore points wrong, but... I was willing to accept that as a separate universe. This I'm not even willing to accept as a concept. This is horrible. It's just... It's just bad. Bad design work. And as far as I can tell, really bad story writing. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't really say it's all bad story writing. But as a whole, right now, I don't want to see this. I I just don't want to. I think they need to not release this and go back to... In the science department of terminology, I would say go back to formula. Go back to writing. Go back to... Whatever it is you were doing before this. I mean, I've made a few trailers before for my Five Nights at Minecraft series that I'm s still going to work on and I'm still doing. I'm just not there yet. I got the world done. I got trailers made. I just, I'm prioritizing some other stuff now. So I'm, once again, just waiting for people to contact me on if they're interested or not. A few people have. Some I'm still waiting to get back to me on. And I have a song I'm going to release in a few days. That or a week. I don't know fully when I'm going to release it. I just have it made right now. Anyways, I just, I don't like this. They need to stop and think about what they're doing before they do it sometimes. Hopefully it still turns out okay, if they do decide to keep it like this. But all this needs to basically be redone. Pretty much all of it. Especially the story, because I don't like where they're going with it so far. I have a lot of concerns, and all of them are going to be ignored. Because they're running it. So, anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is Minister Decker signing off. Hopefully, I never do a reaction ever again. This is the first time I've ever done one, and this was horrible. I'm not going to do my full outro. I'm just going to leave it as... Hope you have a great day without this. And hope to see you all back here again soon. If you're going to smile about something today, do not smile about this. Unless you're smiling saying, oh, it's going to be awful, because <laughs> this is going to be really bad. <laughs> Bye.